Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So in this video, I've got some thrift hauls, good stuff to show you. I've got some, a small Masters of the Universe Origins uh, pickup of Panthor to show you. And I've got uh, some vintage Masters of the Universe lots from shopgoodwill.com to uh, show you what I'm going to do for reselling and collection and all that stuff. So let's take a look. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit, and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Got to get back to reselling videos. There's a little bit of Masters of the Universe in this video, but, um, you know, it's part of my life now. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I not only like to collect a lot of stuff, but I do a lot of eBay selling. Uh, that's what this channel is primarily about. I mainly focus on toys these days just because I keep finding them and you'd be surprised you can make decent cash and a lot of times this stuff is undervalued uh, and it's not like I don't know there's entertainment to it for me um, some people may get bored with selling stuff like clothes which I used to do on eBay but I mean oh man it's just hard for me to go through listings of list listing clothing these days so I'd much rather do toys and other hard goods uh, if I find them you know Yard sales, thrift stores, if I find decent hard goods that are non-toy related, of course I flip that stuff too. So you'll see that in my sales, of course. I show you all the, pretty much all the sales I make, packing them up and everything. So uh, stick around and see what I do. All right, this thrift run today, I went to two thrift stores and I found vintage video games at both thrift stores uh, on the shelf. Uh, that, that doesn't usually happen. It was cr pretty crazy and on top of that I got some pretty good stuff a few vintage toys a few vintage toys uh, some good blu-rays and some regular toys So let's go on through my honorable mentions first, uh, which is usually stuff from my collection uh, like my blu-ray collection uh, I found three blu-rays today. Uh, one was Evil Dead 2 now I already have Evil Dead 2. I'm a big fan of the Evil Dead movies, but I didn't have this version this cover art So I thought I'd pick that up I'll probably just keep it in my collection. Uh, Blu-rays, just this is a pretty common Blu-ray. I mean, it's not worth a lot of money. Uh, some horror movies will be, even in Blu-ray format. Um, but uh, I just thought that was really awesome to find a copy of Evil Dead 2 in the thrift store. Then I found a classic, Platoon. Glad to have that one in the collection. Uh, Platoon and Full Metal Jacket, probably my two favorite like realistic war movies of all time. My real favorite war movie is Predator, but I don't know if that counts. <laughs> uh, and finally, I found Django Unchained, uh, another Quentin Tarantino movie. A brand new sealed copy for $4.99. Uh, I love Quentin Tarantino movies, so uh, glad to add that one to my collection. I've got, I'm only missing a few. Uh, well, he has a lot of them, but I think I've got a lot of them now. I've got Django Unchained, I've got Reservoir Dogs, I've got... Uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards, I got, um, actually, no, I don't have that many. I'm still missing the Kill Bills on Blu-ray. I'm missing uh, Pulp Fiction, and uh, yeah, so I, I still need to work on it. Here's an interesting one. It's a electronic, or not electronic, it's a wind-up plush, a wind-up. This was marked at $1.95 and it still has the tag on it, Waggy Musical by Eden. And this tag on here says 1977. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so a new with tag, I think 70s? Man, the condition seems too good to be from the 1970s and it still has the tag. That tag definitely looks like it could be though. Uh, and the fact that it's a wind-up toy kind of... Most toys that do stuff would be electronic, you know, at a certain point. So a little koala bear. Uh, I see other toys like this sell for okay money. So I thought I'd pick it up, but I didn't specifically comp it. And I also today found a Furby in the bins, the toy bins. Uh, they There was no price, so they gave it to me for $2.99. If this guy tests out, Furbies are of course a great thing to sell. Um, we'll just have to see if it seems to work properly once I get some batteries in it and hopefully it doesn't have a corroded battery compartment. But it's a nice looking Furby. And I picked up a few little random toys. Here's a Fisher Price Imaginex Dragon. I always like this black dragon. Uh, it was $1.99. And it looks like this guy. So this is a pretty neat little uh, Imaginex Dragon. It's got its wing feature, but it's also got a like a roaring feature. 
for $1.99, I think this is like a $15 to $20 toy. Might take a while to sell, but I just, I just love flipping this kind of stuff. And then uh, for 65 cents, I picked up this Milo or uh, Little People. Uh, looks like a horse for a night. I just thought I'd grab that um, for a cheap price. So who knows? Somebody for their set may need it. Here's an interesting little bag for 2.95. Oh, and I got uh, on this one. I got a 20% discount. On this, I got a 20% discount. The Furby, 20% discount. Uh, the Koala Bear and the Dragon, I didn't. Uh, but this is a bag of PJ Masks. Uh, I'm seeing this is a pretty popular toy line, so I've sold some brand new PJ Masks sets that I retail arbitrage from like Big Lots, but uh, this is just a bag of figures, so we'll see what we can do with those. And I picked up another toy bag, $2.99, no discount on this one. Uh, a bag full of VTEC Smart Wheels. Uh, I noticed there's a monster truck in there and just a bunch of different little cars. Usually I can flip these lots for, like I think this bag of toys will sell for maybe like 25 bucks and I paid three bucks, so. Nothing big, but still works. And I picked up a few Nerf items today, uh, starting with the uh, vintage, not vintage, but uh, kind of old football, $1.95. This is a uh, flag football football, I guess. A flag football. <laughs> 2012 Hasbro Nerf. Uh, looks like these balls sell for 20 bucks a pop, so for $1.95, uh, plus a I got the 20% discount on this. Uh, not bad seems to be nice condition still got the all the stuff is glued properly and got the nice logo and everything then I found uh, for $3.95 a 20% discount I found a translucent red uh, nerf strong arm uh, any of the special colors uh, will make it worth a little more money I think this might be a $20 blaster approximately so not bad then uh, for $1.99 full price I got me another flip fury just to start working towards a zombie strike lot again I have one zombie strike lot for sale. It hasn't popped off yet, but uh, always add into the lots. Then I uh, made a deal with the lady at the thrift store uh, because they had this, these accessories marked for $3.95 and then this Retaliator Elite for $4.95. So I put these together and she charged me only $4.95 for everything. Uh, I told her because I did uh, last week this from the same thrift store, I bought the, uh, I bought the, uh, I bought the regulator that uh, these accessories go to, so this, there may be an extra barrel there or something, but anyways, I'm going to put this all stuff all together with the regulator. And then, so I got a Retaliator Elite with the uh, magazine left over. Okay, finally, uh, both thrift stores, I found a vintage video game. One I'm going to sell and one I'm going to keep for my collection because it's actually original NES. So let's look at that one first. $3.99, Rockin' Ball. Didn't have it in my collection yet. And it looks like it's decent enough to keep condition wise. It just got it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Couldn't believe that was hanging up in there in the thrift store. It's obviously not the most valuable title, but hey, just seeing a Nintendo cartridge in the thrift store is exciting these days. Then finally, in the thrift store where I do did it get a discount, uh, in the back of the toy bins, I don't know what it was doing back there and how it survived without getting any damage on it, but we have a Sega CD game. Uh, this is a kids on site game. Looks like some kind of promo educational game. Uh, but it's complete. Well, I think complete in box. It's got the disc. It's got the manual. And it's got some uh, pack-in inserts. And then the digital pictures logo in there. And they wanted $2.95 for that. Uh, I could not believe it. This isn't the most valuable Sega CD game, but still, just like a vintage Sega CD game in the toy, just sitting there in the toy bins. Again, I don't know what's going on today. Uh, it's still got a KB Toy L Store logo on it too, two dollars and ninety-seven cents. <laughs> so yeah, uh, pretty insane. Uh, vintage video games at the thrift store. It just doesn't happen very much anymore. So when it does, we got to make a thumbnail for our video. All right, I got another vintage Motu lot from ShopGoodwill.com. So this one is okay, not quite as good as I thought it was gonna be, but uh, there's a few issues, I'll show you why. I think I'm gonna be able to make my money back and make a profit and keep one figure for my collection. Uh, I'll show, I'll go through it real quick. So I'll show you what, what I didn't see, what I failed to see, uh, well, I couldn't see in the pictures and it makes a lot not as good. Um, honorable reason was that I thought in the pictures I thought for sure this was a red dot 
helmet man at arms which would make it a lot more valuable which uh the, if they have a red dot of paint on each of these little parts of the helmet right here that's uh, like an indicator of a first run uh it's not but anyways this man at arms is nice it's got nice legs it's got a nice spring waist um and i don't have a man at arms for my collection i've got his armor and stuff uh, so i'm gonna add this one to my collection uh because it's a pretty nice one so i at least have that as a consolation for getting this lot so i'll add one nice man at arms to my collection the other thing i couldn't tell in the pictures is this this skeletor which would be probably the most valuable figure has an arm that's about to fall off and that's the first time i've seen that where the actual arm joint is actually ripped off so this skeletor will be just going for uh, a parts of repair lot i didn't notice also this is a chip on his hood too of the rubber so this armor will be coming off clean sell that you can i can sell the that armor piece for probably around 20 bucks uh, and then this skeletor will go to parts of repair stratos uh we'll just be going to a, a bulk figure lot i'll be stripping off his armor and selling that i'm missing for my stratos the other this arm wing so unfortunately that's the wrong one so this one just goes straight back to resale parts again with beast man he his face isn't that great and he's not the best figure so he's not an upgrade for my collection so he'll just be going into a bulk and his waist actually doesn't work very good either so he'll probably be going into parts of repair a lot Got a pretty nice clawful here with the regular feet. Uh, his armor will just be coming off and he'll be going into uh, a uh, regular just figure resale lot. It's a pretty nice Hordak here. Another Mexico, made in Mexico uh, soft rubber head Hordak um, with his armor piece. I'll clean him up and sell him individually. He's good enough to do that, I would think. And we've got a web store uh pretty nice legs are a little bit wonky uh his pack doesn't have the string thing so i might just uh add him in a regular figure lot with the armor attached uh just to incentivize the lot then we've got two taiwan mermans that are in pretty nice shape and both have their complete armor so i'll be selling those basically actually this merman has a little bit of damage on the armor so i don't know this one for sure is really nice probably to sell it for hopefully around a 25 dollars sale something like that uh, hopefully i can make a 20 25 dollars sale a piece on these so yeah that was a big blow the fact that that skeletor's arm has fallen off uh is a big deal but should be able to make my money back keep the keep the uh, man in arms make a tiny bit of profit or maybe more i don't know all right there we go man in arms in the collection just need his mace it's the only weapon i'm missing here's an honorable mention for uh i started to rip the price tag off but for a dollar 95 i hook up these vice grips you know i just grab tools whenever i see them that are useful it's a dollar 95 20 percent discount can't beat that uh, i picked up this toy today uh i figured they were gonna charge me like 65 cents or something like that but the lady charged me a dollar fifty uh I was like, okay, whatever, I'll get it. It's a 2011 Mattel toy, and I looked it up. I think it's a Jurassic World Imagine X figure. So I think it might actually sell for 10 bucks. So for $1.50, it's actually not that bad. All right, uh, honorable mention item. My wife was like, here, pick this up. It's a 3XL shirt, though. I, I don't know. Maybe I can wear it to work, you know, underneath my work uniform. Uh, it's an officially licensed Nintendo Super Mario Brothers uh, shirt from original Super Mario Brothers Game Over. Uh... I would sell it. It was $3.95. I would sell it, but this little uh, tag piece has ripped the shirt a little bit right here. So I guess I'll just keep it. Uh, I found a vintage Fisher Price toy today for $1.50. It was this, uh, it's like a chalkboard little travel case thing. And it has, uh, you can put these stencils up for to spell words. And it gives you an example. So like that. And then it has uh, has a bunch of uh, alphabet magnet pieces that you can try to make the word or just do whatever on here. This was $1.50. I think this is probably like a $25 sale. So I thought I'd grab that. It, it, I counted and made sure it had all the alphabet pieces in there, at least one set. So I got a bunch of those. 
Then I got these uh, brand new sealed Simpsons DVD sets. Uh, we got season one, season 10, and season nine. They were, I ended up paying $4 a piece for them. Uh, I looked up brand new Simpsons season one. Looks like it sells for at least 20 bucks. Uh, I looked up season nine. It looks like it could sell for 25 to 35, not bad. And then I haven't looked up 10 yet, but I'm hoping it's somewhere around there too. So for four dollars a piece, brand new sealed Simpsons sets, not bad. All right, the grand finale. Uh, for a dollar ninety-five, I got this Nerf for Bell blasters, one I never seen before, and uh, that's usually the case with a Rebel blaster. A lot of times you've never seen it before because most of them seem to be limited. Uh, so I looked this up and like I saw one. I see them selling for like fifty bucks. So that some of them. So I don't know. I don't know if the condition is good enough for that, but I mean, for a dollar ninety-five, if I can make a forty-dollar sale out of this, that's great, you know. So be on the lookout for Nerf Rebel. All right, I picked up another ChopGoodwood.com Masters of the Universe Vintage Lot. Uh, kind of an interesting one. Not is a little bit of disappointment in this one, but uh, anyways, we got a Manny Faces. Nothing special. Got a Tila. I think this might be the red hair variant, but nothing extremely special because of the condition. Uh, got a Ram Man. He's pretty pretty nice. We've got uh, Zodak. Again, nothing special. Loose legs. Uh, I was hoping this would be a good battle armor Skeletor for my collection, but it looks like there's some kind of fading that happened to his plastic, almost like he got shot with a firework or something, because there's like these little burn holes in him. So, that's a bust. And then we have a nice vintage half boot, 1981 Taiwan Skeletor. Uh, that one hopefully is gonna be good enough to kind of make my money back on this. So the prize from this will be this mini comic that was in there, the King of Grayskull, which I believe, I gotta check the link Chris sent me uh, to look up the mini comics and who they're, so which characters are associated with, but I think this could be for He-Man, the original He-Man. So that's pretty neat. Got that vintage artwork on the back. So this will be for my collection because I don't have it yet and sell this Skeletor individually. Maybe even the Battle Armor Skeletor, even though he's not in the best condition, we'll see. But then the rest of them will just go back to resale. All right, here we go. Panthor, Masters of the Universe Origins. Panthor the Savage Cat. There's the artwork. Looks cool. Got some interesting artwork going around the box. We got he-Man on Battle Cat and Tila riding a unicorn-like horse. We got uh, Screech, the evil, evil bird up there. What else we got? Oh yeah, there's Fisto over here, but who is this guy? <laughs> Some kind of Minotaur dude, I don't know who that is. That's interesting. And then some uh, random like little dinosaurs over here. Check out the back. We got the cross cell. We've got the uh, remove the battle armor feature. And let's check out this little artwork and bio. Fiercely obedient to Skeletor, Panthor carries his nefarious master into combat. Oh, and he's it's the battle armor Skeletor that's riding him. Because I think they used to release back in the day the vintage figures they would release uh, gift packs that had battle armor He-Man and and Battle Cat and then Battle Battle Armor Skeletor and uh, Panthor. So there is He-Man and Man at Arms right there and Castle Grayskull in the background. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. Masters of the Universe Origins Battle Cat. Feels cool. Feels kind of light. I swear, it seemed like Battle Cat. Did I say Battle Cat? Panthor. It seems like uh, Battle Cat was. Uh, heavier than this, but I could be wrong. Shouldn't be, it's the exact same thing, except for Battle Cat has a helmet. It's gonna look nice with the 
Origin Skeletor on him. All right, got them in there, but they are right and tight. <laughs> so there's Vintage Skeletor on Panthor and Origin Skeletor on Panthor. I think I need to build my platforms up in the middle too, all the way to the top and have these guys on the top to where they have room to go out onto the side platforms too and then extend everything up put King Hiss up here in Origin Skeletor's place so I got both of the Snake Men uh, staff holding guys there so we'll roll with that for the collection update for now alright guys well that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe leave comments about eBay selling or toy collecting down in the comment section hope you enjoyed and have a good one